Happy hellos everyone and welcome back to the Peddler's Gallery's YouTube channel. Before I go any further, I have to tell you it was brought to my attention after the taping of my very first YouTube video that I did not properly introduce myself or the Peddler's Gallery. So I'd like to do that right here and right now. My name is Lori Moses and I'm a crafter from Baltimore, Maryland. Thanks to my mom, I've been crafting much of my entire life. More specifically, in the last 20 years, I have found a great fondness for paper crafting. It originally started with scrapbooking, then that led to creating cards, and then on to keepsake boxes. So as of today, I primarily create handcrafted keepsake greeting cards as well as handcrafted keepsake boxes. And over time, you'll see a plethora of different types of mixed media that I use to do so. Now I thought to myself, I could probably spend the next three to five, perhaps even seven minutes telling you more about myself. But then I thought, nah. I don't think I want to do that. Why not allow them to peel me like an onion, one layer at a time, one video at a time? So hopefully with each passing video, you'll learn a little bit more about me. I'll learn a little bit more about you. And together we will either create really wonderful cards or you'll want to purchase really wonderful cards from the Peddler's Gallery. So. If we can agree on that, we can get started with today's cards. Now, I have to say, um, last week I know I introduced you for those who did not know of Graphic 45 Fruits and Flora line. It was relatively an old line from, I want to say 2021, perhaps 2020. Those two years are almost like a blur. But we're going to go back to Graphic 45. Uh, this week because this week's graphic 45 line let it be is a relatively new line I think I saw a snippet of it back in January maybe even December letting us crafters know that this was on its way and when I saw it I immediately fell in love with this it combined two of my favorite pastimes paper crafting and gardening all in one package so I had to have this I love the colors uh, once I got started working with the colors it immediately took me to uh, the Preakness or the Maryland flag because many of the colors that can be found with the Preakness or the Maryland flag can be found in this line so let's get started so I can show you some of these nice goodies that I put together I first want to show you uh, a keepsake box that I finished not long ago highlighting the line let it be as you can see it's a small rather small keepsake box and um, it has its original cigar banding because many of my boxes and when I say many I guess I can say 99% of my boxes come from refurbished uh, cigar boxes uh, to get started, this box is entitled Be Yourself, and I've highlighted one particular bee on the um, top of the, the top lid, and it's a bee. The, I kind of changed up a little bit, and the wings now glisten a bit, and of course, with every queen bee, there comes a crown. So you see this nice little crown and this ornate ribbon that's attached to the crown. And um, you can see other bees and things like that and sunflowers uh, on the top. There's a faux glass knob that allows for easy opening and closing of your keepsake box. And then all around the box, the pattern follows of sunflowers and bumblebees. So it's really, really nice. And if I flip it over, you'll see faux diamond feet. So it's a really, really girly box, I think. This box I thought would be perfect if you're someone who like like me who enjoys uh, having tea or if you're someone like me that enjoys collecting seeds for 
uh, his or her garden would probably appreciate this box as well. Now for the inside of the box, on the lid, there is a pocket which is perfect to store notes. It's perfect to store tea. It would even be perfect to put a couple of uh, bags of seeds in the, um, in the pocket. And right on top of the pocket, there's a wood chip that reads, sweet as can be. And then there's a golden bee right off to the left of that little sign. There's an arm that has been uh, made so that the lid of the box does not fall completely backwards. So as you can see, it will only go but so far. And on the very inside of the box, and I want to say the box is roughly about three inches deep, and I'll have measurements in the description section uh, when you actually view this video. But there's a faux moss green uh, suede that covers the box on the inside. So you can put, like I said, seeds or tea, or if you even have some nice jewelry that you want to store somewhere, it would be perfect for a box like this. Now, the card that I want to show you is a honeycomb card. I love, absolutely love this die that I used to create the card. The honeycomb allows you to see the inside of the card before you even open it up. And there's, you can see there's a ornate ribbon associated with the card and another golden bee. So with this line, I really um, pulled out the bees. Um, so you'll find lots of golden bees either on the boxes or the cards. And on the inside of this particular card, there's a honeycomb with a whole bunch of worker bee bees or at work. Let me see if I can put this where you can see it. Maybe I'll just lay it flat so you can really see it. And I have three other cards that are very similar in nature, except this bow is a, uh, a tricolored bow of red, black, and yellow. And the bee that was once on the far left side is now on the far right side. And when you open this up, you get loads and loads and loads of beautiful sunflowers and a few worker bees. Here's another, the bow, the bee has gone back to the other side again. Um, there is a yellow and green ribbon associated, or bow associated on the front. And inside you get a lot of um, sunflowers and bees, just not as many as you saw in the last card. And lastly, for this style of card, you get a black ribbon, a bee on the far left side, and on the inside, I'm not sure if you can read this yet, but even on the inside it says, let it be. So they're very, very pretty. And I like to think that my cards aren't just typical cards, but they're small gifts. They're that type of card that adds that extra to anyone's special occasion whether you're sending it just to say hello or to say happy birthday. It's that card you typically do not discard of after the event, long after the event is over. Here's another box. I haven't quite completed it yet. I did manage to put a handle on it. There's a metal handle right here, and it allows for easy lifting and closing. But there are no feet on this one yet. But before we get to our uh, first show of the spring, it will have feet. Now this particular box will house, house my five by five inch cards. And um, if I can show you, there's lots of goodies going on in this card, including the faux stitching that you immediately see uh, with the uh, white stitching against the contract, the black um, contrast of background of the card. There are five layers to the card and the layers are used that I used um, were made with my stamp, postal stamp die cut. So you have one, two, three, four, and the B makes five. Now this particular card I like because it can stand for anything. It's a great card to use as an invitation. It's a great card to use as a birthday card. Or you could be sending a card and the B stands for beautiful. The B stands for brave. The B, if you're here locally, stands for Baltimore. It could relatively stand for any B that you'd like it to stand for. Beautiful. 
if something needs to be, uh, you know, if you want to say something on the lines of let it be, let go and let it happen. This card is a perfect card for such occasion. Now, when, that, when you think about handcrafted cards, no two cards truly look alike. And that remains um, for this style of card. The stamped images, uh, die cut images will vary slightly. Uh, the bows will change a little bit. You may have one less stitch than you had on the previous card, but they all coordinate. They all coordinate. And lastly, we have this one. And this one just says, be yourself. So this is a great card to encourage someone who may not be feeling the, maybe the best about themselves, but you think otherwise. Just be yourself. There's only one you, and nobody can do you like you do. So there you have it with that set, set number two. And again, they fit very easily into this six by six box. This was actually the last set of cards that I made using this line uh, last week. However, it's one of my favorites. The cards are very small. It's truly a note card. It's a great card to accompany a gift perhaps. And then once again, the card itself is a gift. So it just depends on how you want to use it. This uh, box also is not completed. It does not have feet. It does not have handles. But I can see the makings of a great box. And just to point out here, uh, I believe I'm going to use this as a tea box or promote it as a tea box. But right here, you see a cute little teapot that sits in the center of one of the sunflowers. Let me see if you can see that better if I come up a little closer. There you go. It's a silver and faux crystal, faux glass teapot. And I love the cinnamon on the front. Even busy bees stop to smell the flowers. Now the neat thing about this particular card set is each one, just like those, are a little bit different than the next. This one says love and be loved. But with each card, there does there is a, the white space for writing your sentiment. And no, this isn't a shaker card, but I guess you could use it as a shaker's card. <laughs> Inside the card, you'll find a set. I'm sorry, you'll find an envelope full of seeds. This particular card is uh, has the passion flower seeds in it, and the passion flowers are edible once grown to full uh, capacity. So each card hosts a packet of seeds. You can see that the pennant flags, and this is Lady Lavender. So you can definitely encourage someone to plant a garden or you can send this to someone that you know who perhaps may be an avid gardener. This one hosts sunflower seeds, appropriate for that theme. This is a traditional, more traditional uh, sunflower. And as you can see, as I'm showing you the card, each card is a little different than the next card. This is an English lavender. And then this card reminds us to be kind. And perhaps you want to give that to someone who may have been kind to you or someone you know. And on the inside, these are hot pepper seeds. So each one of them shakes and makes lots of noise, some a little bit more than others. Of course, some seeds are a little bit larger than others. 
and they all fit in this tiny box. And then lastly, I want to say this may be my favorite box. I'm not sure. I think they all look pretty nice. But this one's entitled Let It Be. And you can see the bees around the sunflowers. And if you look closely, you might even catch some of the sparkles uh, that I, that I uh, added to the wings. Now, the good thing about the sparkles that I added to the wings of the bees, they do not rub off. So... You don't have to worry about them getting on your clothes or anything like that. There's a cute little ornate handle, green handle right here for easy opening and closing as well. And inside, there are four slimline cards. So this particular card has an illusion of a flagpole and you can see the flags uh, stemming, uh, just peeking away out from the bows. Here's another golden, a golden bee here. Plenty of writing room on the inside. This particular card, again, even busy bees stop and smell the flowers. We have to learn how to do that ourselves sometimes. Here's another flagpole of, of sort with another golden bee. And it says queen bee. So this is like a perfect card for maybe that gardener lover in your life. Maybe they are having a birthday. And uh, maybe that queen bee fits them perfectly. And lastly, oh, we have another queen bee card. That just could be used for a note or to say something special. Now, the neat thing about having a slimline card, you could also put uh, a couple packets of seeds in the slimline card or a couple packs of tea in the slimline card or whatever you may like to add to the card. But there's definitely room in the card where you can add other things to it. With that being said, I guess I want to show you, this is actually a completed box. It has a diamond footing on this box as well. You have the, the green pack, the green stripe uh, background with the cream colored polka dots uh, going around the front and the back of the box. And the original handles, or the original um, material on the sides of the box, that slightly protrude in a nice way from the box and the one thing that I love about the leaving the the banding around the boxes it shows people one that you can turn some sort of trash into someone's treasure but the neat thing I like about this particular brand their banding uh, it has stamped on it handmade so they although they handmade the box I turn it around and use my hands on it for something else as well. So um, it's a neat little box that will hold well more than four slimline cards, but that's what I put in. That's what I put in the box. On the inside, there's a little wood chip sentiment that states sunflower wishes and honey bee kisses, and there's a metal crown for that queen in your life. Now, if you're wondering, all of my cards, for the most part, sell for $8. Every now and again, I'll have a card that sells for a little more than that. And that just means that it probably took a little bit more effort and work on materials to create that card. If you see something that you like, please leave me a note in the... Um, in the section let me know if there's something that you want feel free to email me at the peddlers gallery at hotmail.com or inbox me hopefully well before I say hopefully thank you for joining us once again here at the peddlers gallery YouTube uh, channel 
I hope that you'll return again real soon, same time, same place next week. And I'll have more cards to show you, more specifically in the lines of Mother's Day cards. So be sure if you like, if you saw something that you like, if you don't want to miss another video, to, sub to subscribe. And we'll see you real soon. Thanks and have an awesome day. Bye-bye.